Hi everyone, this is Miss Yo. I am Miss Yo. And wanted to give you guys like a two a two week? Yeah, a two week update. Of course, oh, let me put the pen back over there. That's from eBay. It was called lipstick pen. Lipstick pen from eBay. Okay, of course I started to implement the my new nail regimen. Of course. Um in one of my videos, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but I said I'll discontinue the use of it. I'm going to try it. I'm just not going to layer it with another nail polish because I was using the keratin gel only. But these are the supplies I go to. This is my Sally Hansen files. My buffers. Remember the vitamin E? Yes, that's the pink armor my um q-tips these are the q-tips brush i only use since i have yet to buy uh the non-acetone even though i hate it i do have that and then this is my magic potion if you will and peppermint oil i would definitely say my essential oil the best peppermint. I love the sensation, the tingling. I just love it. And my best, I would say, carrier order oil that I don't have out here, of course, is coconut oil. Um, I never told you guys. I use that for my nails and my hair, but I never really told you guys everything I put in there. <laughs> so this is my magic potion for my hair and my nails. So it's the jojoba oil, avocado oil, argan oil. Sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, vitamin E with the keratin, and peppermint oil. So that's what's in here. It does me well. I tried it with, um, I actually tried it with vegetable glycerin and it was a down. And I'm sure that's because e vegetable glycerin is truly a humectant. And I'm believing something something didn't do too right and then it left it like a nasty film but i redid it and just used that but i just want to show you what i did this is what i do i even when i have this one or the keratin gel on this is the brush i actually at that time before i even put my hands in water i take my brush and i get the oil going with oil on and i align it down here and I take this brush and I scrub my cuticles so I hold it and then scrub my cuticles I'll do one hand here I will be scrubbing my cuticles and what that do just like the stimulation of your head of course it's going to stimulate the um, cuticles after that I wash my hands then I go to soap then I soak them up, clean them up the whole bit to get the extra oil off of it. And then from then, I take off the nail polish. I just wanted to, you know, prepare my hands to know you're about to get something a bit harsh. Which is that. <laughs> so after I clean them, take the polish off, I then go back and do my reverse. I take the soap, put oil with it. Erase, you know, go through with my cuticles and then I erase, um, erase, I um, rinse out that and then I just use plain soap. And then at that time, I come back and use this. I use it twice a week and I can't say I have, I like, I really have no nails on this finger and it hurts so bad, but yeah, I don't know. So, I'm going to keep at it. The awesome part is that I don't have ugly fingers. So that's the awesome part. But yeah. So that's what I do. And like I said, my favorite essential oil is peppermint oil. And coconut, of course, is the runner up. So that was it for just a small update. Giving you guys what I use for this is actually like what I use for the hair and the nails. And if you guys would like me to like actually paint my nails and show you, just tell me. But that was the update for that. 
I will be back very, very shortly to do a, a haul, okay? This actually is a jump start of my birthday, the big three three. So I got my first gift today. I said, hey, let me let me do that. So yes, I will do a haul. And until next time, which should be soon. I'll talk to you guys later. And I love you. Bye.